Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and I have a project to share with you. I have made a card, book marker, and of course bottle cap charms. Now, these are the cutest cards. If you love teddy bears, if you have children or grandchildren, I am going to show you a must-have paper collection or if you love or someone you love loves teddy bears super duper cute i use kaiser crafts teddy bear picnic collection to make these and for this card i used a die by sizzix it's a pro die it's a 12 by 12 size die though this could have been an xl die it's called table table tent and what's great about this die is it sits on the table Perfect for that child to place on their desk and be reminded of what you made them. Now, let me show you each card. I will show you that paper collection and some accessory things that I used. But I think it turned out so cute. I love teddy bears. I don't know a child who don't love a plushy, smashy, squishy type teddy bear. And this is so cute here. I wanted to keep it simple. I didn't want to add too much to it. These teddy bears that you see, I used, now these are old dies here. So they're discontinued. But take a look at these teddy bears. You can um, create your own bear. They're interchangeable. And these teddy bears here, they hug and they sit. And then I have another set that I didn't use, but the two that I showed you, that's what I did to create this bear here and also this bear here. And then I used that liquid applique to um, fill in the faces. And I've created banners using a Spellbinders die. I put that one away, I'm sorry. But I wanted to do something with tabs and so I used my once again, Spellbinders die to make different type of tabs. And then I use my rubber stamps to type or to stamp in a word. This one says color. And for this one here, um, this one says play. And I foiled a die cut that says smile. And this is a stamp. I love you very much. So cute. Now, these bears that you see here, these are buttons turned capuchons that I molded. And so if you're interested in how you can mold your own bears or whatever else it is, you can check out the link um, for my molding tutorial. Another banner that I created, these are two tickets that I've stitched and stamped the word paint and skip because it's a message to the child to paint, to skip, to color. This one says to read. And then I have a clothespin here with another molded capuchon on it. Also have one right here. I think these are super cute. These are the type of cards you can keep out all year long. I think a child would really love this. Okay, so let me show you the bookmarkers. Here, so cute. This paper is classic. It's timeless. This is the kind of paper I will put in my storage. What is it called? Um, someone did a, a video uh, some time ago asking what do you have in your um, treasure box? Well, this paper will definitely go in my treasure box. So the bag looks like that. Now, these are two of the bottle caps that I made. Let me go ahead and show you the paper because this paper this print here well I got this paper from joannes.com a couple months ago it was 50% off and what's great about joannes.com you can buy single packs of the same print so I got 10 in a pack for 550 now I didn't get their whole collection I started off with four prints but this paper is perfect for using your circle punch to make your bottle cap charms and all these teddy bears are so adorable. You probably even see one that looks like a teddy bear you had growing up as a child. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so this one here is another print. Once again, 10 sheets in a pack. And in this set, you can cut these out to make tags. And they're so cute. I love it. And the back just has um, a script on it. And it tells a story about having a teddy bear picnic. So that's so cool. This other sheet looks like this. Love the ticket strips. I love tickets. And more like a collage feel to this one. Really cute. And then this one just has this type of pattern on the back. I'm sorry if, if it's dark in here. Now I love this one too. Because growing up, I used to have a chest like this. And last year, and, and earlier this year, I went on a hunt. Kmart had these a long time ago when I was growing up. And you could lock it with the key. Well, I went on a hunt earlier in the year looking for one of these. And I have yet to find one. But these are chest and suitcases. So super cute. And on the back of this one, you have... Looks like a maze, but I guess it's the teddy bear picnic. The map. Really cute. Love it. Okay, so back to the bottle caps. You know what? Let me show you additional bottle caps that I made. Because I'm loving the whole bottle cap making process. And so I made these here. And all these teddy bears are from molds that I made. And so I wanted to mimic the picture on the inside of the cap with the teddy bear, though my teddy bears are not the same color or look like it. I tried to. Like this one here, she had a bow around her neck, and so his is coming apart. <laughs> yeah, I tried to do that. They came out cute anyway, though, and I love his face. He's so cute, but he has a little bow, just like he has a bow. So some of these, I ha I've put glass um, domes in the inside, like this one. And if you're interested in how I made these instant charms, you can check out the link to my instant charm tutorial. These came out super cute. Now, this one here, if you notice, he's flopped. And it was easy to make him flocked. I just used a can of spray paint and then I added flocking powder. And down here, these are just little, well, these are charms, but you can just make embellishments as well. Love these, love them, love them, love them. And these are two more teddy bears that I made from my mold. So this collection, you guys, is really cute. If you're interested in it, check out joannes.com. You can also buy the paper pad, but I'm not sure if joannes.com has the paper pad. Well, I thank you guys for viewing, and do have a blessed day.